Hi, this is David Howard Thornton, but you might know me as Art the Clown from the movie Terrifier, and you're listening to the Night of the Living Dreads podcast. Kill you later. <laughs> Anybody ever heard of a can of cluck? <laughs> a can of cluck. Cannabis <laughs> infused can chicken. <laughs> the good old can of cluck. Well, if you have it, if you have never heard of the can of cluck, you are welcome. Compliments <laughs> of myself, Otis B. Dreads, and uh, of course, uh, my partner in swime, swime, slime, swine, slime, swine, whatever. <laughs> Pig, pig slime. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mr. Jackal Monkey, it's Night Living Dreads podcast. How are you? Oh, no, I'm doing all right. I've been feeling feeling a little shitty here lately. Fucking. Oh, oh God. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got the run, no, do you? No, oh, no, oh, no. Nah, yeah. nah, I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. I've been, been coughing like a motherfucker, but I mean, it ain't nothing out of the ordinary with me, but. Right. Yeah, fucking back's all sore and shit, and ribs hurt, you know, from coughing so fucking much. Oh, I hate but, that oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, it feels like somebody beat the shit out of me. Mm. <laughs> well, that sucks. How long? How long's this been going on, though? Uh, shit, a couple, couple days now. Yeah, maybe a couple it's days now. Last leg. Maybe you're at the end of it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, how, shit. How you been? How been? How you been doing these past couple of days? Uh, well, you know, working, working like a slave. Well, not really the last couple of days. It was the uh, the the weekend. You know, we uh, hung out with some friends uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, this is actually the first podcast of the New Year, so uh, Happy New Year, yeah. Tradeheads. Hell yeah, Happy Patience. New Year, fellas. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it's just really relaxed in the past couple of days, but uh, you know, just back to the uh, same old, same old. You know, working, yeah, yeah. working every damn day, and not having a dollar to show for it. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Fucking here Dredge that, takes it all. She, she, she gags me every Friday. Give me your money. Hey, shit. Hmm. <laughs> What money? What what money? <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't got no money. Oh, he pulled a Debo. Right? That's most great. What money? That's my money. Hell yeah. <laughs> what money? It's my money now. My money now. Man, it's my grandmama's chain. Hell yeah, grandma gave me that chain. Oh yeah, that's uh, just hey, just like normal. First yeah. night, right on down the shed. <laughs> Right, right down the shitter. If you want to hear more right episodes that go down the shitter just like this, you can go over there at Uh You can find all the episodes here because this is episode 88. And you got 12 more to 100 episodes of uh, of this, whatever this is so far. <laughs> so. I have to come up with something, I guess, to do. But anyway, but you can uh, you can listen right there on the uh, uh, website, nightlivingdress.com, where you can listen on Spotify, Stitcher. Um, and right now, I think those are the uh, the only two. I thought at one time we were on, uh, like, iTunes or something, but everything started changing at, at that point. Like, like they changed something. It was, like, iPodcast or something. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't understand all that shit, but anyway... Uh, those those are the uh, you know the three ways to listen Spotify Stitcher and over there nightlivingdreads dot com. We also have you know posting them up over there. Join us, become a patient of our little insane asylum over there on uh, Facebook um, page and the group. You can you know you can, you can follow uh, both, but the uh, group is where all the good meds are. We, we, that's where the crazy we, shit goes down. Yeah, that's where the crazy <laughs> shit goes down, right? That's where we have fun. Uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool group, if I do say so myself. We're about thirteen hundred strong, patients strong. So uh, not not doing too bad. We have a good time, 
And uh, we, we, a lot of times, um, you know, run across articles like what we're going to talk about because we got 11 crazy crime stories uh, that could only come from the depths of 2020 because 2020 oh, obviously shit. yeah oh i know you know these are going to be doozies it is a shit fucking year so <laughs> good god i could i could only imagine you could only imagine oh, i trust could me. only imagine good I, will, I, I will not disappoint and uh and here here's the thing i i started reading through you know some of these uh like the first maybe two maybe three stories maybe three stories i think uh, and, and i'm like okay and then i got sidetracked so I'm like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it, okay. So I haven't okay. seen, I haven't seen all, but oh. I've seen like two or three of these stories. So I don't after oh, the first shit. two, yeah, they, I don't know. I don't they, know. Were, they were that, they were that good, huh? Yo, yeah, yeah. I seen that. Oh, I read the first shit. two, and I'm like, oh, if they're that good, it can only <laughs> oh, get better. Oh fuck! Whoa, we're in for a wild fucking ride, then. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, so why don't we jump into this wild ride? Here we go. Number one on the list. And I don't think these are in like order or anything. This is just the first one. Uh, mother daughter duo. So we're keeping it in the family, you know, a little mother daughter time. Mother daughter duo caught selling corpses out of their family funeral home. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, just a little side hustle. Oh, you know? God. Just a little side hustle. This uh, this little uh, uh, article says uh, Megan Hess and her mother Shirley uh, Coke Coach Coke uh, opened the Sunset Mesa Funeral Home in uh, 2009. They appeared to be just your run of the mill family business until nearly a decade later, it was revealed that they'd been selling corpses. Uh, Holy they were shit. given and then lying to the grieving families. What? A, I oh, mean, what kind of person no. do you have to be to do that? You know what I mean? That's fucked up. Jesus yeah. Christ. And, and he, oh, you, ain't, you haven't heard the worst. <laughs> <of it>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You haven't heard the worst of it yet. Okay. Oh, shit. They made, uh, well, on top of that, they made hundreds of things thousands of dollars illegally selling entire corpses or, oh, or just man. individual heads torsos arms legs they sold them to scientists what? to teachers uh to people in the medical community um and then they provided like Holy the relatives shit. with dis the you know the deceased ashes but it was made up of other corpses it wasn't even their own oh, deceased oh god there's That's a there's fucked up, man. And here's the icing on the cake. One victim, her name is Judy Kressler. She found out that her father's and this she's an older lady. I can I, it doesn't give her age, but you could tell she's probably I'm going to say early 60s, 64. Uh, okay? So uh -huh. her, her, it said her father's body had been sold to Saudi Arabia. Holy shit! What the fuck? Out of the back of this little uh, funeral home. For, for 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 what? Like for for like science purposes? Or? Uh, that would be my guess. It does not uh, go into uh, uh, detail on that, but she just found out that yeah, her body, uh, his body was geez. actually sold. But here's here's the happy ending. Uh, both mother and daughter are facing 135 years in prison as a result. Uh, Holy shit! With some, Good. Uh, yeah. So that that's that's a little bit of uh, justice, I guess, restored. But I don't think it really even much puts a uh, damper on what the, you know, the, wow. the the relatives and and those you know the loved ones of the deceased that they just shipped out the back door, you know, like they were the mob right. or something. Right, oh, like, because I mean, geez, Louise, like, the, like the family's grieving and shit, and like you're gonna desecrate, you know, de desecrate their loved ones' bodies by doing some shit like that, like, geez, yeah, that's fucked up, man. Hey, right, here's one. <laughs> here's another one. TikTok teens say that real, real fast. TikTok uh, teens find yeah, a TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok teens find suitcase stuffed with human remains. Oh, oh yeah, 
I heard about this. Hey, yeah, I heard about this one. In Seattle, was one. it the one in Seattle? The Rando Nautica. It's some kind of an app. And uh, I guess it's almost like the geocaching in a sense. I guess yeah, it, yeah, it takes you to like random. Uh, it's randomly generated, you know, coordinates that you know you use this app, and it'll take you to certain places. Well, it took these uh, teens to a uh, shoreline near Luna Park Beach in Seattle, and uh, that's where they found what is described as a putrid suitcase discarded on the jetty. <laughs> and it is, uh, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> one of the girls, uh, it said, uh, went up there and, uh, poked it with a stick <laughs> and, uh, figured out that there were mutilated human remains in it. Just, oh, just shit. rotting away. That's um, fucking crazy. Yeah, they, uh, they, they. I guess they launched a, a you know huge investigation, obviously, and they then found another piece of luggage containing seven more dismembered body parts. And holy uh, shit! As of now, the case still remains unsolved. Wow! So that, wow, that the was, suitcase, uh, the, the suitcase killer. The suitcase killer. <laughs> Got the suitcase killer out there putting bodies in the suitcases on the beaches. <laughs> For TikTok. For TikTok. This <laughs> is That's some fucking crazy shit, man. It is. Look at it like, like, oh, man. Okay, you ready? You ready to get just a little bit crazier? And this is the no, one that no. I have not read all the way through no. yet. Oh shit! All right, let's go. Let's all right, go. here we go. You said you said there's ten of these. Uh, there's eleven of them. Uh, oh shit! All right, let's all right, let's go. All right, shit! So fucking turn it up to eleven. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, a man murders his disabled girlfriend and then poses as her on Facebook. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, September 2019, 40-year-old John Matthew Chapman lured his 33-year-old girlfriend, Jamie Fedden, uh, to the uh, Nevada desert. He convinced her to prepare uh, for a bondage-themed photo shoot. So, oh, I, wow. so I don't know if he was some kind of photographer or wannabe or that was just his stick, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, so and, it was like kind of, kind of their thing, or right. She, she allowed him though. Uh, whatever it was, you know, he was apparently convincing enough because she allowed him to uh, tie her to a signpost. Okay, does, does, does it does it say how she was disabled? Mm, no. Oh well, I'm look. I'm looking at a picture of her. I mean, she just seems to. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe it's coming up. Uh, here, but yeah, this, this guy is cruel because yeah, she does look like, oh, it's called Vater, V-A-T-E-R syndrome. It, uh, causes birth defects, including a uh, small size. Um, and that's all it really says about that in this, but I'm sure you could find, uh, you know, more about that, but, uh, you know, she, she looks pretty frail in this picture that I'm, I'm looking at. Yeah. He, uh. I guess you know she tied him up, or he tied her up to a a fucking signpost, and uh, she was uh, choked to death uh, after Chapman allegedly taped her mouth and nose shut. Uh, he then drove uh, back to her Pennsylvania home and moved into her house, where he posed as her <laughs> online, thinking he could avert suspicion. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah, so this, this guy is a real special kind of fucking stupid. Okay? What an idiot. Um, but those who, you know, knew, uh, you know, uh, fed in, fed in, feed in, whatever, uh, yeah, they, they, they knew that man, something just, you know, wasn't right. And it was probably the way that she carried yeah. herself online that he could not do. Right, right, right. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, again, uh, they did a welfare check on her and, uh, <laughs> they went to his apartment, her apartment and bam, there he was Chapman just chilling out. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was arrested and, uh, 
at that point, uh, they discovered that, you know, he'd been married to another woman living a double life. Oh, shit. Faces uh, life in prison or the death penalty if convicted. So, uh, Damn. now here's a, I, yeah, I have nothing. I have no, I had no idea about this one. Mom obsessed with the apocalypse kills her kids. Uh oh. Uh, what? Yeah. Kills her kids. Uh, the end is coming. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, death children. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. People are fucking crazy, man. And and here's but here's the thing, okay, it wasn't just the idea. Maybe it was partly the idea, but apparently from what I'm just glancing over it, it looks like she became more with an author, a doomsday author. Uh her her name is Lori Vallow and uh it says that she uh became obsessed with a doomsday author named Chad Daybell. Um oh. Does this sound familiar? Have you heard this one? I, I believe, I, I think so, yeah, yeah. I guess, uh, you know, she she became, uh, you know, just infatuated with this guy. Um, let's see, Daybell claimed that he could see the future. <laughs> Your voices speaking prophecies meant only for him that the end of Let the world look was into my, near. <laughs> Let me look into my crystal balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you this what they say. Hey, grab Lori, hook, line, and sinker. I mean, she she wholeheartedly believed this guy. And uh, all of a sudden, shortly after they met, guess whose wife disappears? Daybells. Or no, she died in her sleep. Just out of the blue. Fucking dying. Go figure. That's when, that's when, that's when Daybell and Lori... Decide. I guess they're going to spend because the end of the world's coming, right? So I, they they want to spend it. Uh, so they went, you know, having good times. They went to Hawaii. That's where they got married. They figured, ah, the end of the world's coming. Might as well go to Hawaii and get married. Makes sense. She, uh, yeah, they end up. Um, her children end up missing. Ex husband's parents become a little bit concerned about the whereabouts of the uh, children. Yeah, this is, yeah, I think this mm. is the one that I heard about, yeah. She was uh, extradited when they, uh, uh, she failed to, to do so. So they, they they extradited her to find out where her damn kids are. And uh, she, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, witnesses explained how Valo, Lori there, believed her children had become zombies and needed to be killed. What? Yeah. The what? <laughs> and uh, put it's, it's not something to laugh at, but I, I, I mean, you undead little bastard! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God! I said no more them, brains tonight. All them video games that made you brain eaters. <laughs> brain. <laughs> Damn little brain eaters. Now I gotta kill you. I some got, bitch. Some bitch. Just you starting to like no your little ass. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they later uncovered the uh, remains of her missing children burn, uh, buried behind Daybell's home. <laughs> it, it was it was it uh was it like on like a ranch or something like that uh it does not say let me see yeah no that that was that was the end of that one doesn't say it's fucking crazy here's one we could uh let's see uh peeping tom spying on teenage girl at cracker barrel beaten by group of enraged dads <laughs> God, <damn. laughs> I don't think. We, yeah, I don't think we need to really go much into that one. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna just skip right through. They beat the holy hell out of this guy. Holy shit! <laughs> but um, yeah. Hey, hey, I mean, that's well, gonna happen. I mean, I've seen more than one video regarding, uh, you know, uh, them fucking. Like peeping toms and that kind of shit, getting yeah, caught, and, yeah, and, and yeah. getting pedophiles that way, yeah, beating yeah, them down, yeah. 
All right, here's one that uh, I'm sure we all saw, and uh, this is another one we can skip, you know, kind of quick past this one, because uh, it was uh, the one about the man uh, who smokes a joint while he's in court for marijuana possession. Uh, what? No, I didn't, I did not see this one. Really? Uh, 20-year-old yeah. Spencer Boston, he appeared before a judge in Lebanon, Tex- or Tennessee, for marijuana possession, and uh, he boldly lit a joint. To prove a point, uh, holy shit! Yeah, I, I, you could you could see the video of it. He's standing right there at the podium, like you, you know, <laughs> you know, talk, and just let him just pulls it out and lights He's it like, up. He's like, "Fuck you, man!" Yeah, man, you, you can't you, tell me, man. <laughs> your laws don't have nothing to do with me, man. Right. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah. So uh, okay, let's see. Um, okay, incel. Uh, is that is that how you say that? I n c e l. I I even had to look this up a little yeah, bit I, earlier. I, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I so. um, yeah. He okay. uh, this guy uh, blows <laughs> off his hand while making bomb to kill cheer- cheerleaders. Good, holy shit! <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear about this one. This one uh, apparently uh, happened in uh, Virginia. 23-year-old Cole Carini walked into a local medical center <laughs> missing one hand <laughs> and covered Jeez, in shrapnel and blood. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> I forgot how to answer that. <laughs> I feel a little woozy here. For help, please help me. I'm getting, I'm getting faint. I'm so bad. He said it was. I'm so bad. He said it was a lawnmower accident. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Of course he did. Right. The FBI uh, quickly discovered that uh, this was not the case. They learned oh, that uh, Carini, who had previously been convicted on charges related to explosives, had oh, actually planned Jesus to kill, quote-unquote, hot cheerleaders with a homemade no. bomb. What the fuck? Yeah. What? Yeah, quote-unquote. They, they, they put that in quotes. Uh, hot cheerleaders. <laughs> and and, lo- and looking at, looking at this... Hot cheerleaders. Right, looking at this little shit stain, I can understand why he'd probably have a little angst towards the hot ones because none of them are fucking talking to him. Uh, that, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. That, that actually backfired, literally, and uh, yeah, he ended up blowing <laughs> his fucking hand off. Oh, my God, dude. They, here, here's they have a mug shot right here of him, and he still has the blood splattered up on his face. Oh Jesus Christ! That That's is great. That's fucking priceless. Oh my! Oh wait, oh, yeah, wait, Jesus till you, wait, till you, yeah. I'll send this. I'll have to actually put this in the um, uh, in the description of the. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is good. Um Jesus Christ, what a fuck what a fucking dumbass. God damn. So all right. Uh, that's, fucking, that's fucking people that's fucking people, man. That's fucking people. Man. Uh here here's <laughs> another one I don't think we need to really go too deep in. Uh man moves into daughter's dorm to start a sex cult. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Only in 2020, Jesus my friend. Jesus Only in 2020. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, hey, yeah. hey, yeah, Charlotte, I'm going to be coming down this weekend. And, uh, by the way, I'm going to start staying, uh, staying down, uh, down <laughs> the hall from you. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, don't mind all the uh, all the people in robes you see walking around, right. and all the uh, sex noises you hear. That's uh, that's nothing. It's just normal. Just go about your daily. Just 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 go. Just go. On. Yeah. Jesus. My what the fuck God, is right? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? Uh, here we go. Woman murders boyfriend so that uh, she can marry her father. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, one more time. 
<laughs> West Virginia, again, by God, West by God, Virginia, 31-year-old uh, Amanda McClure married or murdered her boyfriend, 38-year-old John McGuire, with the help of her sister and father, uh, her modus operandi, she, 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 Mary she, she Pops. Murdered, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. oh, my God. She murdered her boyfriend right. with the help of her sister and her father mm-hmm. to marry her dad. Yes. Oh, take me home. <laughs> oh, man. West Virginia. <laughs> Mount Mama. <laughs> Um, McClure reportedly, uh, she dosed, she dosed McGuire with, uh, liquid meth, uh, amphetamine before, uh, she and her family tortured him for two or three days before finally killing him. So they had a little fun with him, man. They just didn't like pal put two in the head and bury him in the backyard. You know, Jesus no, they, they, yeah, they had a little fun with him, and uh, he was uh, then dismembered, buried, exhumed, reburied, and unfortunately found at the property the family was staying in. God damn! Yeah. So uh, that's terrible. McClure, that's fucking terrible. Begged. <laughs> McClure begged for uh, forgiveness. And claimed that the abuse she suffered at the hands of her father had ultimately led her down this murderous path. <laughs> Isn't that what they all fucking say? To be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, she was uh, she was sentenced to forty years in prison. Her deceased boyfriend. I right, there's a picture of him there. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, a cannibal arrested for legally, or I'm sorry, illegally castrating a man. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. We're going out to Oklahoma for this one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, the, uh, let's see. Bob Lee Allen. Okay, castrated a 28-year-old Oklahoma man in a remote cabin in the woods. There's your horror story. Yeah, Um, there's shit, right? He he reportedly also told his victim before his grisly procedure that he was a cannibal. I'm going to cut off your wiener. And I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat your wiener. I'm going to eat your weenie. I'm going to eat that weenie, boy. (laughs) And you're going to like it. (laughs) (laughs) You're you're going to sit there and watch me eat your weenie. (laughs) (laughs) No. You're going to watch me eat your weenie and you're going to like it. (laughs) And there ain't nothing you can do about it. (laughs) <laughs> oh, 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 oh my man. goodness! Yeah, the v, uh, the victim had gotten uh, into this mess when he met a man online who asked to uh, castrate him. The man uh, known as what? Thomas. He, uh, yeah, I swear I don't think I read that wrong. What? I, I'll, I'll read that again just in case. <laughs> The victim had gotten into this mess when he met a man online who asked to castrate him. That's what I thought who, who he said. asked to castrate him. The man known as Thomas Gates agreed and flew him out Jeez. to do so. Oh, my God. Even though the act was consensual, it is still illegal if performed without a license, which it certainly fucking was in this case. Oh, my God. Jesus. Uh, The victim reported that the two men who performed this surgery, Gates and Allen, were not only performing illegal castrations, however, but were also cannibals. And they was hungry. I'm going to eat that weenie. I'm going to eat that weenie. (laughs) I like the looks of that weenie, and I'm going to gobble it up. He said, well, uh, at least let me have one ball. (laughs) We're going to have weenies and balls. I mean, 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 did the other one, did did they both get charged with cannibalism? 
Uh, well, it says here, uh, according to the victim, uh, 53-year-old uh, <clears throat> Alan bragged about keeping severed body parts in his freezer. I'm guessing this is the other one, Alan and um, and Gates. Gates was the other one, Alan and Gates. Uh, and he and his partner <laughs> Gates, uh, they were ultimately charged with felony counts of battery with a dangerous weapon. Uh, maiming, assault, and misdemeanor charges of failing to bury body parts. <laughs> what? what? They, they failed at that, apparently. Uh, misdemeanor charges of failing to bury body parts. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. I don't even... Do, oh, God. No, oh, God. <laughs> All right, uh, for this quick one, going across the pond, 30-year-old corpse found inside an abandoned Paris mansion. It was Jim Morrison. Holy shit. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, do, do, do. And that was the end. This is the <laughs> end. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, right? I just mentioned Jim Morrison. Paris, I was I was trying to I was trying to think of one, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, "There's no fire involved," so I mean, I couldn't. You know, right. I couldn't. I couldn't go there. <laughs> oh my! All right. Uh, so that was that was fun. That was that was interesting. Uh, and a uh, lot lot of lot of that's just you know a handful. Of, of stories yeah. and weird shit that happened in, you know, 2020. Because it was definitely, you know, just a, a weird, weird year. But that's all behind us now. And, you know, yep. now, we, now, now we got now we got the shit show of 2020, 20, wait, 2020, 2020. I can't even, 2021. 2020, 2020, 2020. Well, I want a waiter. <laughs> oh, you get waiters oh. and balls. <laughs> waiters and balls. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like it. <laughs> I, I got a feeling that Jody is absolutely in love with the uh, idea of not being on this particular podcast. <laughs> I imagine. Waiters I imagine. and balls. The waiters and balls. That's what we eat right here, boy. <laughs> we're, the, we're the Craigslist castrators. Find us on Craigslist. We'll come to you and cut up your wiener. And then we get hungry and we dispose of it by eating it. Even, we'll even share if you want some. <laughs> if you really want some, not too many of our satisfied customers do want to eat their own wainer. <laughs> we no never let it go wainer right. go to waste. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, boy, yeah, that's a uh, big time. Oh, straight, straight down the shooter. Straight down the shooter, yeah, big time. Um, all right. So, uh, as everyone knows, um, you know, well, at least those who've been listening to the podcast here uh, recently since uh, you, you've joined this uh, shit show we call the Night Living Dreads podcast, um, <laughs> that, uh, you know, you, you do a lot of, um, you know, mask, a lot of latex work and things like yeah. that. Uh, go check them out over at uh, Nightmare Ninja Studios and uh, on Facebook and uh, check out some of the shit. A lot, lot of cool shit. Um and so, what we're going to talk about involves a lot of those practical effects. These movies, yes, there's a lot in your your regular like slasher uh, type, you know, sub genre of horror. And I guess I should actually preface this by saying that I, I think that we we've agreed uh, there, Jack and Monkey, that it'd be kind of cool because there's a lot of sub genres of this this oh, you know, yeah. genre of horror that we that we all you know know and love so you know i thought man this would be kind of cool maybe let's just start you know going down all the different let's get a list of all the different subgenres and you know let's uh let's let's talk about maybe a few movies that that were that fit into that category um and uh you know yeah, just, yeah. just just talk a little bit about it and uh we're gonna start doing that you know i don't know maybe you know a couple times uh, you know a month not like an every every you know show type deal but uh we're gonna start this one out with uh body horror 
And uh, you know, you want you want to you know, you're you're a special effects, a you know, a uh, you know, practical effects, you know, kind of guy, mask kind of guy. You want to yeah. tell people what this whole body horror thing is about because it involves a lot yeah. of that. Yeah, because uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, what we were talking about, you know, what, what we should do for you know the the first episode. It's like, well, you know, everybody does, you know, their favorite things, you know, or whatever of the year. And I was like, well, right. how about you know, New Year, New Me? Let's do you know, uh, body horror, you know, like transformation. It's just like, fuck yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, like uh, <laughs> New Year, New Me. <laughs> so you, you 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 know so uh, like uh this the whole the whole premise behind body horror is right. just like the terrible excruciating things that occur to you as you're transforming into some kind of fucking horrific creature an, 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 you know an otherworldly being somehow did something to you and now you're transforming into the you know a, a fucking right. a melting blob you, you, you know yeah. like and, and and it's usually the the transformation usually isn't you know pleasant ones. Uh, you know you, oh, you see a lot of mutations, mutilations. You know the whole zombification. You know, right. uh, a lot of violence. You know, disease or just you know complete contorting and and the and just the unnatural very, movement very of disturbing. bodies. Yes, yeah, very disturbing yeah, type yeah. shit. So. Very disturbing. Yeah, very disturbing imagery. Usually, yeah. usually. A, lo- a whole lot of fucking gore. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> and and you know, and, and and the perfect example of that, obviously, the one that what most people would think of would be uh, the uh, uh, the fly. Yeah, the fly, but uh, yeah, but by good old good old King King Cronenberg. <laughs> yeah, and you know, but the you know this actually goes back this whole you know I a whole body horror sub-genre really goes way, way the fuck back there, you know, at least, at, at the very, you know, least 1950s, um, you know, early, oh, yeah. early to mid-1950s with the original Fly, with uh, The Blob, as I think you just, you know, mentioned. Did you did you like those right. uh, movies, the original oh, yeah. Fly? And there's a oh, yeah, there. The Fly, the re- re- Return of the Fly. <laughs> what is yeah. this, this prize? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. The, I mean, those were those were fucking classics, fucking classics. Yes, absolutely. and then you get you know the the, the remakes, and then and now those are considered classics. You know, and and they're they're in, in my opinion, they 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 took what was originally created and fucking go like like kicked it up to eleven again, so to speak. You know what I mean, right, like. Right. They, of course, you know, a lot, a lot had changed, you know, from the 50s, you know, till 77, you know, the, the 80s and 90s, you, you, you know, well, like we came yeah. way further as far as, you know, uh, uh, effects, you know, practical effects, especially, you know. Right. I think the, I, I just think the whole idea, you know, of, of, you know, just that, that concept um, a lot of the concepts, as you meant, uh, you know, was it Cronenberg? As you know, a lot of a lot of his, oh, yeah. you know, his his concepts and just the the stories and what he would come up with. It was like, you know, I or, mean, f- for instance, uh, uh, the Brood. Um, I think was uh, one of his uh, from seventy eight. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. and uh, I mean, just that whole story. It's like it really gives you, you know, an idea about what is going on inside this guy's mind or it just leaves you completely, you know, blank. But it's brilliant Uh on the same, you know, breath. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And like in Rabid, Rabid, it was it it came out in 77. You you know what I mean? Another one of Cronenberg's movies. Right. Shiver was too, right? Yeah. 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 Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was he he was definitely uh <laughs> definitely uh unique, especially whenever he whenever he first came out for sure. There was nothing else like 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 what he was doing, you know, and and like here's just like the the, the imagery and the the the, the effects, like it, it was it was fucking crazy, like like a video drum. I mean, James Woods says like a pouch thing in his 
stomach where he can fucking put tape players where he puts like VHS yeah. tapes and can play them like <laughs> wh- what? Yeah, <laughs> what the what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> like, a whole lot, a whole lot of what the fuck moments, just like oh, yeah. what we just oh, had yeah. with those those uh, <laughs> stories. Yeah. But, and it's right, right, and it's a whole lot of you know it's. There's it's there's underlying underlying things you, you know what I mean like like with video drone the whole thing was you know violent TV and violent video games and in the fly you know was was you know sort of, you know about HIV and AIDS you know like right. he, he, his his films had a deeper fucking meaning you know what I mean like and that's what was you know so crazy and fucking twisted too like the way that he. The way that he presented it, you know, it's like holy shit. He always seemed to have a, uh, you know, a, a science, a, 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 you know, deep rooted, you know, uh, scientific, uh, oh yeah, you know, approach to it because he, he would throw a lot of that science yeah. that that would be actually valid right, right, or that he science. Would, yeah, you're right. That science, yeah, he throw that at you, and it, it, you know, it's making it, it, it just it sounded legit. You know what I mean? It's right. like a, it's, it's, it's like holy shit! This guy sounds like he knows what he's fucking talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a is this guy a real fucking doctor? Like holy shit! <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, actually, have you and you know, like, like here's you know, have you buy in the fucking story and shit? You know, and and that's just what that, that was another part of you know what really did it well with him. But I mean, and you get into the other other uh some of the newer ones like contraction and <laughs> they fucking uh, fucking teeth <laughs> oh my god oh, i mean yeah. <laughs> i mean it's uh, i mean i mean <laughs> it's some crazy crazy shit you know what i mean but but the old they, vagina they chopper they definitely you know, yeah they definitely took something from cronenberg you know what i mean oh, and, absolutely and, Sort of, sort of did their thing with it too. You, you, you know, like that's a that's what I'm, I really fucking dig. And like I was saying too, hell, I would even go so far as to to say that fucking uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. It would be, it would be considered a body horror movie. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I did want to get you know your your opinions on what are some because you know we we we've mentioned some of the the you know the classic the go to uh, movies past mm. and you know eh, somewhat you know a little little more uh, you know present day uh, of movies right. that you just automatically think of when you hear body horror. Uh, what are some that you may not necessarily hear in, like, let's say the top five or top even ten uh, movies uh, of body horror movies? Uh, what are some? And you said Nightmare on Elm Street two. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would. Uh, that's the one where yeah, where Freddy is literally he's inside that kid Jesse. You, you oh. know what I mean? It's all about you know Freddy coming you know coming out of him. You that's, know. That's, so that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, like I was saying, like I didn't think about it till like the other night because I was, you know, I was trying to think of different, you know, body horror type movies mm-hmm. other than you know the 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 obvious, you know, Cronenbergs and you know movies like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and that's when I was like, well, damn, I yeah, I would consider Not in Elm Street Part Two body horror, and, and you know the thing, you know, John Carpenter's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's definitely a uh, definitely a good one, um, and one that I didn't really even think about because my wife and I were talking about it, and uh, she was like, "What about the witches?" I'm not and even like, sure if I've uh, uh, seen that one. Oh shit! You never. Oh man, uh, it's classic. Uh, it was made in the '80s. Let me see. Uh, we got it on VHS. Let me see if I can get her to find the fucking uh, case real quick. But uh, what's her name? The uh, the same lady that played uh, yeah, Angelica Houston. Okay. She okay. Uh, she she yeah, she played uh she you know from the Adams Family movies. Mm-hmm. She uh she she played uh the Grand High Witch in this one, and uh 
it's all like uh, what she, you know, the way she normally looks. Though it's it, it's a, like a mask that she wears. Like she, she takes it off and rips it off, and she's a hideous fucking witch underneath. Like the the, the practical effects in that are really really good. Okay, uh, I'll have to check yeah, that like out. The, but that that you you would consider that just because of what like the certain transformations <laughs> and 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 well, you know, oh, yeah. whatnot. <laughs> Oh yeah, just uh, yeah, sure. Because of the way that the witches are and shit, and they're trying to hide, gotcha. you know, trying to hide hmm. hide what they are. That's that's the one that I would consider body horror that is actually kid friendly too. You know what I mean? Because okay. it was it was considered a, a kids movie. Like I remember, I, I watched it growing up. You know, I think well, we had talked I watched, about this I, before. Yeah. I, I watched a lot of fucked up shit growing up, though. But <laughs> but this, this is one that's, that's actually okay for kids to watch. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, let's see. What's what's another one of my one of my uh uh let's I already say yeah, contractions, teeth, uh another one of my really favorite uh oh yeah, Nightbreed for sure. Mm, okay, yeah. And and uh, David Cronenberg actually plays in that one. He's mm. actually uh the the killer <laughs> in oh, that nice. in that movie, yeah. which is uh which is <laughs> which is quite a twist. But uh <laughs> quite a twist. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Th- those, those, those are some of my favorites. Oh, you yeah. know, uh, vi- like Video Drum, uh, The Fly, uh, some of the not so obvious ones. Uh, 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 From Beyond with mm. uh, Jeffrey Co- with uh, Jeffrey Jones. That's that, a and, damn and good one. Yeah, and and looking into you know kind of like a little history uh, of body horror. Um, that that is one that that does come up from beyond. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I would imagine. Yeah, that's a that's a damn good one. It's 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 definitely Lovecraftian for sure, for sure. And uh, damn, I just said it on the tip of my tongue. I lost it. Uh, there's a, I mean, there's there's a lot of really good ones out there. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, uh, most people. I mean, you wouldn't even really think about that but uh alien and uh no especially the first alien mm-hmm. movie but that, no i can i can see that i was thinking about that as well i don't think you can leave that out at all yeah. oh yeah definitely definitely an early an early example though just kind of you know going back even further a very very early example of the body horror subgenre Within a fictional writing is Mary Shelley's 1818 Frankenstein. It's the, uh, you know, the gothic horror, which is what a lot uh, of people uh, take and say that, you know, that's where the body horror subgenre kind of came, you know, has a lot of roots in, and that's the gothic horror, and that was, you know, right. the, it, and, and they say that was almost kind of the birth of of science fiction. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. You for know, sure. because, you know, I mean, just yeah. how, how Frankenstein came to be, everybody knows the story, you know, and also right. uh, it's thought of as, you know, the, the uh, you know, the, that's where the origin of body horror in, in, in a right. literal, uh, in the literary sense, I should say, in a literary and, sense. Uh, this, I, uh, my, my wife actually just now reminded me of this one, uh, and this this might actually be my number one. And uh, I mean, like it's a, a lot, a lot of people might not, you know, it, it, it be be turned off by it, you know, because uh, I mean, it's a it's an anime, a Japanese anime, okay. and it's actually one of the one of one of the first anime movies that I ever watched. Okay. It's uh, uh, Akira, which you know, is, uh, I, I don't know, have you ever seen it? No, I have not. Oh, okay, like, uh, the, the premise, basically, it's uh, it's way in the future. Uh, there's a, a biker, uh, this, you know, a couple of punk kids, you know, got a, got a biker gang, and they're running around. Well, one ends up smacking into this uh, kid that has psychic abilities, and it ends up, rubbing off on him mm. and he ends up not being able to control these psychic abilities that he's obtained and his body just starts fucking mutating into this crazy fucking mass of 
absorbing flesh and metal. It's 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 crazy. <laughs> mm. But that is uh that yeah that's that's probably that 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 might be my number one actually. I, yeah, I almost want to say that that was that was something that was mentioned um in the uh a couple of the the little videos that I watched, you know, uh just exploring some of the you know the top 5, top 10 Oh uh, shit. Body Hell yeah. yeah. If I'm not mistaken, uh there there uh I I'm pretty sure I seen that one. Then there was a uh there was another one. It was a Japanese uh movie. It had more of a science oh. fiction overtone to it. This was, you know, just oh. you know, an actual movie. It was almost like this chick was, you know, seeking vengeance. Uh you know, I guess I don't know whoever killed her father or something or whatever and I guess the gore and and just the the brutality in this is is like um you know type shit, um and, you know who knows I, I can't think of the name of that one though, because that's kind of uh-huh. that's kind of research and notes I take, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean there is a uh, there is another really good one uh, that you were saying too. Another uh, it's uh, it's not anime, but it's a Japanese, uh, uh, and it's one of the one of the you know, more famous ones is, uh, Tetsuo the Iron Man. Mm. And it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking uh, crazy. It, it, I it, it's, think that might be something. I don't know, man. I've seen a couple of yeah, them from, uh, way over it, there. It, yeah. It's, it's fucking wild. It's really fucking crazy. Like they use a lot of stop motion. Uh, there's actually three of those. There's Tetsuo the Iron Man and then, uh, Tetsuo two body hammer. Mm. And uh, Tetsuo the Bullet Man, which is actually the uh, the newest one, and uh, uh, Trent Reznor did all the music and stuff on that one as well. Oh, well, that that makes sense. That's pretty fitting, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and it's all original music. Yeah, which is yeah, it's, it. It was it was a pretty good one. It was a pretty good one. Awesome. It's uh, out of those three, my favorite is definitely Tetsuo Two Body Hammer. That one's that one's badass. <laughs> That one's badass, but yeah, yeah, my 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 number one is probably Akira. All right, there. Well, there you have it. There you have it. If if you're into if if body uh, horror is is your you know favorite subgenre of horror, the uh, then then check check those out because I I uh, you know I never understood that there were so many. I never realized that there were so many. Uh, different like sub genres of, of just right. well, I thought every that okay that's horror or it's not yeah that's not, oh that's 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 either yeah it's that's a scary movie yeah, right. <laughs> we gonna get us a scary movie and we, we're we're gonna gonna get scared. we got we got zombies we got werewolves we got vampires what's the god in it <laughs> what's the god right <laughs> what's the god in it I don't care as long as we got some kind of monster or something scary I'll watch it you got ghosts. You got ghosts? <laughs> got demons? <laughs> Man, you got but... Bigfoot? You got big, got uh, Bigfoot? <laughs> you, got, you got yourself a cryptid? <laughs> <laughs> got them their big feet? <laughs> got, got them their big feet? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, but that, but there isn't. There's. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna get a list together because uh, I think that maybe you know we'll just we'll just go through and uh, we'll hit all the subgenres uh, at some point. Hell yeah, for sure, and, uh, for sure. And uh, I think I think it's worth diving into because a lot of them I probably never knew even fucking existed. I, and I've, I've been watching oh, the movies I... that these you know movies made the the genres the subgenres that they may fit under and didn't even realize. Hell yeah, uh, yeah. I got I got to throw in a got to throw in an honorable mention that I totally forgot about until just now. Okay. Uh, Altered State. Oh yes, yes. That one was also uh, in a lot of the uh, like you know list and and top movies of the yeah. uh, body horror genre. Yes, Altered State. I would yeah yeah. My uh, my brother introduced me to that one when I was I think like fifteen or sixteen. And it, yeah, it was one of those ones that blew my fucking mind i was like holy shit like yeah it's a that's a really good one yeah. really good one i uh i think i have seen that but it's been a while and and i really don't you know it's one of those ones where yeah i'm pretty sure i saw it but can't tell you a fucking thing about it 
Oh, oh, right, right, right. I mean, it's trippy as fuck. It's fucking crazy. That's what I do remember. I do remember mm. it being, you know, a little on the uh, you know, trippy, weird side, I guess. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of trippy and weird, I wanted to take just, uh, you know, the last, you know, three, four minutes or whatever, a couple minutes uh, to... Uh, you know, you know, just make mention of what we're going to talk about next week because I'm I'm pretty excited about uh, next oh, week. Oh yeah, uh, show. you and me both. Um, g- getting a little, you know, different as far as the the topic, but even though we, you know, as long as it's I guess weird and just you know, I mean, you know, I guess there is some. You know, okay. horror, horror, I guess, that you could pull out of it. But we're going to we're gonna dive into the old Skinwalker Ranch uh, and Skinwalkers, period, uh, and what is going on out there. All the, the, well, We're going to talk maybe about all the different theories, um, you know, that, that, that we've heard as much as we can fit into, you know, an hour, hour and a half, you know. I'm not, I'm not one that likes yeah. to do, like, five, six parts on one, you know, uh, uh topic you know maybe a part two sometimes but uh well we'll try to just cram it all in most people are probably pretty familiar uh with the uh the, the story uh out there at skinwalker ranch and, and you were one of them because uh you you have yeah, uh, cause yeah. there, there's there's a lot of uh native uh you know american um um uh, I guess uh, background going on there and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and that that that's right up uh your alley ain't it yeah, 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 that's what I was saying. Yeah, I, I had heard about it and, you know, heard about, the, you know, the skinwalkers and shit when I was a kid and stuff, you know. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking crazy, like, to, to hear about, you know, all that stuff going on there. Yeah. It's, and there's, and there's, yeah, like you said, it's not just one thing. Like, there's a lot of shit going on oh, there. Yeah. Absolutely. There's a lot of shit going on there. It's yeah, it's fucking wild. When I when so, I yeah, like when you, I, like you whenever you, whenever you brought up the, the topic, I was very excited. I was like, oh hell yeah, <laughs> this will be a real this will be a really fucking good one. Yeah, like I said, it was it was a really it was really kind of a, I guess a little different because there is a lot of you know talk about aliens. There is you know a lot of you know there there's some talk about some like poltergeist type activities um, and and and, yeah. and it's just a little bit of everything going on. But I think, needless to say, and then of course like like you know you me and you have talked. You know you got a lot of. Uh, you know, your ancient Native American beliefs and, and when what they, you know, believed. And, and, and we're going to get into, you right. know, as much as that as, as we possibly can. So I'm really excited about that uh, next week. And I, I've already been looking into this and, you know, diving into whatever I can, uh, whatever I can find. Hopefully we can get some, you know, a little bit of feedback from, uh, you know, the, the, the dreadheads and those that aren't dreadheads, but... You know, eventually will be. And any of you guys listening, get a little feedback on that. I, I made a post over there at the uh, Facebook page, uh, which everybody should, should be over there. In a, I don't know. Go a group, I should say, Facebook. Group. Hop on it. Hop on it. <laughs> yeah, let us, yeah, yeah. Let us know what you think. Give us some feedback. Exactly. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear what you guys think about the Skinwalkers. I made a little post over there about that, and. Uh, some people are, you know, all into it. So, you know, I don't know. I, I have my, uh, I'm skeptic. I'm a skeptic. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll listen to everything. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know really how I feel about this right now. I'll just put it that way. But uh, I'll, I'll know I'll know. come uh, next Wednesday when uh, that episode drops. You guys will know, too. And uh, so, hey, this is, uh, this has all been fun. I got some fried chicken to go eat. Mm-mm. It just tastes damn good. That's my piss poor captain scolding. Hope, well, hopefully, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's better than waiters and balls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I want some fried chicken with a side of waiters and balls. Side of waiters and balls. Extra balls. <laughs> Extra.
I'm alone and scared. I lost my mommy. Can you help me? All I wanted to do was play with you. Please come and play with me. I'm so lonely. Why do you seem so scared? I know things no one knows. We're going to die.